Hey everyone, welcome back. This is another anime review. This is already emo season two. I'm just gonna cut to the chase here. And everything that the first season did, the second season expanded on and did it so much fucking better. I'm gonna be frank with you here. I don't know why I love this anime as much as I did. I mean, I probably enjoy it way more than I should have, okay, considering that it's about incest. And even though at the end of this season they technically broke up, I guess, and became normal siblings again, it's obvious that they were still in love with each other. They just knew that it was wrong for them to actually be in love. They knew they couldn't marry or anything like that. They knew everyone would look down on them, including their parents, so they decided to technically break up, but you know that they were still in love with each other. <laughs> That's fucking obvious. So I probably enjoy this series way more than I should have, but you know what? I'm not the only one, so I know for a fact that I'm not. So, yes. Anyways, though. Ori Emo Season 2 Directed by Hiroyuki Kanabe and written by Hideyuki Kurata and by Studio A1 Pictures, unlike the first season, which was done by Studio AIC Build. I wonder what the change of studio was for. Um, and it originally ran from April 7, 2013 to June 30, 2013, with a total of 13 episodes. However, it was also a ONA, or Original Net Animation, which was released went ran for three episodes and was all three episodes were released simultaneously on August 18th 2013 and those three episodes are actually required to finish this season and thus the series similar to the four ONA episodes for season one which were required to finish that season so you do have to watch the ONAs they're not just random things you can just brush off okay like random comedy things or something or something like that. They're not. They're, they are required for the story. They finish the story, okay. <laughs> Anyways, now that that's cleared. So technically there was, in the entire series, 32 episodes because in season 1, 16, uh, 12 main ones and 4 o ONAs. And in season 2, 16, 13 main ones and 3 ONAs. <laughs> so yes, but anyways though. <sighs> So this season basically picked up immediately where the previous season left off, which if you don't remember what that is, it's basically where, um, where, uh, Kirino was come, be because of her brother's persuasion basically, came back to, f from the U.S. to Japan, okay, and their antics basically starts all over again, although they do seem... Well, at first they're not too close at all, but over the course of the series they do end up getting closer. And we do get a lot more romantic drama in this series, such as with su such as with uh, Kiyosuke starting to, actually well, for a limited time, dating uh, Kuroneko, who was that like goth chick who always dressed gothically, a member of the, uh, uh, basically Kuroneko's otaku clique in a way. Um, and then at the, in the final episode, uh, Minami, who was Kiyosuke's childhood friend, ends up confessing to him, but ends up getting shot down by him, and even fucking Kirino's, uh, best friend, who we originally thought hated Kiyosuke's guts, ends up confessing to him in this season, so, yeah, there's a lot of fucking romantic drama in this season. Like, it was definite, it was high in the previous season, but it went up tenfold in this season. And, oh my god, it was so well written. Like, this is the type of anime that really makes me fangasm whenever I see it. Because I, I've said this before and I'll say it again, I love romances. I really do. And this is the type of anime that really makes me, that really reminds me of why I love romance anime so much. Whew. And the ending was very pleasing, too, it was. Like, again, they they technically, I guess you could say, had a mock wedding, in a sense, where Kiyosuke somehow, due to his connections, set up, like, this chapel, and she had a wedding dress on. And they kind of faked it, I guess, just so that they could be happy with it, with her actually wearing a ring that he bought for her. <sighs> okay, and of course, the very final scene in the series is them at Akihabara, because... 
why the fuck not? Of course it would be. That's probably the most reoccurring location in the entire fucking series. Of course it would be. <laughs> um, we do get some interesting new characters. Like the, there's a chick younger than Kirino that comes over from America to visit her. Basically her track rival in America. She was basically only in there for like one episode. But that was one of my favorite episodes in the series. Okay. Really? <laughs> And overall, I th just think that this season two is far superior to season one in every way. Like, on Mal, I rated season one an eight. Well, on Mal, I rated season two a nine because I really felt it was superior to season one in every way. Like, season one was amazing, but season two was outstanding. Like, the romance, the romance skyrocketed, and it was so well written. The drama. Really, the drama at the end between Kirino and Kiyosuke was, and Minami was incredible, you know, because they knew that their love was forbidden, okay? And that's kind of why they broke up at the end, but they do seem to be a lot closer as siblings despite breaking up at the end. Which was, And they basically made the promise that throughout the rest of their high school years, they would continue to be secretly in love with each other, but they would break up and become normal siblings again when they graduated. So, so it wouldn't, obviously it wouldn't last forever, but they do seem to be a lot closer, which is good. So I think I'm going to just wrap up this review here, though. The animation isn't too great as always, but except for like in two scenes where Kirino and Kuroneko are basically having a fantasy where they're in, in the Miru anime and they're fighting each other and it's really weird, but the animation there is really fucking amazing, though. <sighs> so yes... I think I'm going to wrap up this review though. I know it's really short, but did not a whole lot for me to say that I didn't say in my first review, except so much better. And an amazing conclusion to the series. Really. It's it's rare when I'm satisfied with an anime's ending. I'll be perfectly honest here. It really is rare when I'm satisfied with an anime's ending. Okay. But this is one of those rare exceptions when I really am. It ended perfectly. Okay, it really did. So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.